You know, the pieces aren't just recent. The pieces have been part of a legacy for a very long time. Neither has Sarnus been recent as well. Sarnus has been old. Really, really old. Around 10,000 years ago, there was a group of people. They were called the Peace Masters. Each one mastered a certain piece's power, whether it be projectile or spirits. Each of them had tremendous power. And I mean tremendous power. Uh, but you see, there was an evil man, an evil man far before Sardis existed, who wanted that power to himself. But he didn't seek out every piece. He only sought out one. A sixth piece. A piece that has been gone for a long time. Called the Peace of Control. While we don't know the masters, each master was pretty recognizable. For the public, at least. Each master would socialize, have a normal life. And a lot of people would know him, except for the people today. And with him, I mean the, the big master. Because with every group has to have a leader. However, the other masters still kept socializing and interacting with people. But the master of control was different. He wanted to keep his power to himself. He wanted to have himself a free man. Not having to worry about socializing, not having to worry about interacting, not have to worry about signing autographs and such. The master of control was a mysterious man, and he wouldn't say his name a lot. Because he also held tremendous power. But more than the others, he was more skilled than any other master. Obviously, except for the master of spirits, the big one. See, he would even come up against the master of spirit himself on comparison to power. But you see, the evil man Fredbear tried to lure in every piece in a different way. Why he wanted to lure in every piece is because there was a prophecy that one day all masters would unite and use up all of their power. It was called the Day of Fusion. It would resurrect an ultimate life form that has been passed down from generation to generation and nobody has ever seen before. He, that was Fredbear's main goal. He wanted to resurrect the ultimate life form. But how would he lure everyone in? Well, he'd make an establishment, Fredbear's Family Diner, and would see what attracts each master. One of them liked pizza, he added that. The other one liked skill, he added a combat training system. There was lots in Fredbear's family diner, but he hoped that one day, all five other masters would come to Fredbear's family diner, and he would have all the power in the world. He would resurrect the ultimate life form. I'm saying five other masters, because you see, Fredbear wasn't your average run-of-the-mill villain. He was a master as well. The master of illusion. So when I saw the piece of illusion, I felt sad picking it up in my mind. Knowing what tremendous horrors could hide inside. Because each piece, while the masters are dead and lost to time, each piece has their spirit in it. Who refuse to use all the power. Which is why everyone who claims the pieces, including me, have never used all the power. Only the masters can, and they always refuse. Now, while the other masters wanted to keep their secrets to themselves and don't want the modern day folks to know their names, there was one who let out everyone, who let the name out. Because the master of spirits, the big guy of all, was Sarnus himself. Sarnus was the leader. And a good leader. He was not evil until recently, and it is unknown how he was evil, unlike Fredbear.
and the master of control was actually me. I was the master of control, and that's why I could fly and do all of that stuff relating to its power, and why I'm so skilled and above all the others when it comes to control. Now, you may be asking, if I wanted to stop this madness, then why did I want to steal the pieces? Well, it's because of my plan. You see, back when Fredbear's family diner opened, I had a plan. I would hide in the back room until every one was out, until the diner closed. Then, when Fredbear goes down to his little bunker, because that's what he would do at the end of every closing day, I would follow him and ambush him. It was hard, but I did pull it off. And my plan was to get all the pieces, not for evil. The only reason I did that is because I sensed evil and soreness since I met him and did not want to know what would find out, so was acting evil. But the only reason I did that and took all the pieces is to hide them, to not destroy them, because that would be disrespectful to the prophecy and story. But I wanted to hide them, have no one see them. They were history. They should not be brought up. Now, the reason I never got this is because the masters were not dead, they were still alive. Now, I knew the pieces, because it was also part of the prophecy, that when they die, their power will be manifested into pieces, and that is correct. And I was sad after you guys foiled my plan, because that was the closest I ever got to ever bringing my plan to life. But now the pieces, I don't even know where they are. But you see, after that, hold madness with ambushing, I sought a new plan. Battle him to the death, the master of illusion. Fredbear, or as he liked to go as, Freddy. Since he's the master of illusion, he didn't want his identity to be known, as everyone knew he was evil, so he disguised himself as Freddy. But oh, I was not so naive. I knew that was Freddy, the way he acts while looking at me, the way he spots, he speaks, how he would act with visitors, especially when masters are around. I knew that that was Fredbear. Now, this battle wasn't a normal battle. This is a battle that would change history forever, the history of the pieces. And the only reason that I'm alive today is because after the battle, I froze myself underground so nobody could hear me. I froze myself in an iceberg and woke up 10,000 years later. Around 10,000 years, obviously. But I didn't want myself to be known. And as I am the master of control, I controlled the iceberg to shake and shake what I wanted it to until it broke. And that's how my reign of terror began. And how my plan started. The second act of my plan. But now, the third act of my plan is only beginning. As I need a backup and do not have any ideas. That plan to find Sarnus and gather all the pieces was perfect. Because I knew that he was the only person that I could get the pieces from as long as I obeyed him. He was the master of all this. He would, of course, know. But there's one thing that's certain. I do not have the peace of control right now. And it's to that forsaken battle from history. That forsaken battle. I hated it. As much as I wanted to kill Fredbear, he was not ready to give up. But there's one thing I didn't tell you, the one thing that had me lose. Not only did Sarnus have all the pieces, but that mask that he put on me to control me, that mask was part of the resurrection process. It was created by Fredbear. Fredbear knew all the secrets about the mask. He knew all of it and wanted to know more. You know, he was the creator. But the mask had spirit. 
Sardis cursed it somehow, and he wanted to know more. So Fredbear was an evil, mad scientist who would hide in his lair every day after closing time. He would study and study and study and study. He was clever. Very, very clever. But now that you know all this, I think it's time that I tell you the story of the Forsaken Battle. Hi guys, I just wanted to say, uh, this is only audio, but I should come out with a video version of this prologue pretty soon in the future. This is also not episode 1, merely a teaser of the Tocho season 2. It's supposed to be just like a prologue to show everything um, that is going to happen, as I will not talk about this whole origin history section in the first episode. But, yeah, that's a sign to show you that the Tocho, season two of the Tocho, will be coming soon. Which is nice. But, yeah, uh, that's really it. I just wanted to say that this is audio only. The Tocho will be coming soon. I'm not sure how soon. Summer, definitely not. <laughs> Last summer. But the first episode should be coming out around April march i'm not sure it's really uh, whenever i decide to make it i have the plot for the first episode planned out and everything it's just when i decide to make it and yeah that's about it swag out